viewers, it's nice to have you here once again. We want to talk about what computers can do. I would like you to understand something that computers can do much more things that you can imagine. And the things that they cannot do are insignificant compared to what can be done using the computers. So the use of computers in our daily lives, in institutions, parastatas, in all organizations, cannot be overemphasized. So we just want to look at some of them right in this discussion. Computers have become an essential part in of modern life. Life today will be tedious without computer usage. And they have made human daily activities much more easier than it would have been. All right, imagine that you have to always do things manually. All right, you have to always queue in a bank to withdraw money. You have to, you know, make sure that you have every eye in your security in your establishment. These these are things that are pretty tedious. So the use of computers have made life much easier, have made things much more smoother than it will have been without them. Now the use of computers cuts across all disciplines, all forms of skills, all forms of labor, be it skilled, um, semi-skilled labor or unskilled labor. It's used as far it's as found relevance in all forms of profession, ranging from astronauts to even unprofessional workers. Small businesses can also use computers in their day-to-day -day activities to make transactions, to make recording, to make um, information sharing in the company more effective, more efficient. And uh, it has also really made, um, reduced the, the, the cumbersomeness of having to have hardware materials all around. So we will just begin by looking at some of the uh, applications of computer in our in our modern world, in our modern society. Computer usage can be looked at from two perspectives. You can look at it from the general usage as well as peculiar or specific uses. And when we say general usage, we are talking here about computer applications that cut across all establishments. What are the things that we use computer for, regardless of the establishment or the institution that we are talking about? So that's what we refer to as general usage. But for peculiar or specific usage, we're looking at um, organization-specific applications of the computer. That is the use of computer um, in specific ways to get specific tasks done. Some of the general usage we have includes word processing. Now, this includes the use of computer to prepare documents, printed documents, um, to make prepare texts, Right to make um, uh, all forms of uh, transactions that is that needs to be printed out and that needs to be um, documented. We have spreadsheet here. We're talking about the use of computers in statistics for analysis. Um, practically, here we talk about the use of the Microsoft Excel in um, recording data, in analyzing data, in um, presenting as well, as well as in making doing some calculations. Then we also have presentation. Like right now, I'm making a presentation with a computer. All right, so we presentations here. You can computer can be used in terms of um, seminar presentations, for lecture deliveries, any form of um, um, speech. Can the, the the information to be delivered can be presented, or can be made uh, more um, effective if um, the computer is used in such presentation. They also have for security purposes. All right? If you look at establishment institutions, you it is oftentimes not efficient if you have to employ so many security personnel who may be weared down over time, who may be fatigued, who may even sleep off, who may forget what they have seen. But with the use of uh, computers, we can have um, cameras that are able to record every activity within the premises. And the beauty of this is that there is almost no mistake made because you can play back what has been 
recorded to see exactly what happened. Now this is this cannot you, this this cannot be done if you have to do this manually with the use of manual security uh, personnel. So we have for peculiar usage we we'll talk about schools. Now in schools computers can be used to for to present lectures. Uh, students can also use them to get information. They can be used to search for some information online. Uh, lectures can be sent to students uh, via their personal PCs. Uh, then we also have um, for financial institutions like the bank, transactions are uh, done with the use of computers. We also have the use of the automated teller machine in, um, uh, for cash withdrawals. Now, this is a computerized machine that's, that has made cash withdrawal much more easier than it would have been if we have to uh, all go to the bank to withdraw cash. So we see that uh, we are just trying to highlight some of the applications of computer in our modern society. All right. If you take out these, you see that life will have been more tedious. Activities will have been more strenuous without the intervention of computers. In the hospitals, they can also be used um, for documentation purposes, which is general. But more specifically, we have what we call minimal invasive surgery. Now, this is of interest. This is of serious concern here. Because with this technique, operations can be done without having to gut open the patient. All right. There are some devices that can be placed on the patient which, with which the surgeons are able to see every internal organ of the person. So they just go straight to that part of the body and are able to conduct operations. Now this will have been much more difficult if the surgeons have to cut open the person and start to search for the malfunctioning or for the part of the organ that is faulty. So uh, again, we can see here that even in hospitals, the use of computers have made the, the work of the doctors much easier, as well as the administrative personnel that are found there. We talk about construction, manufacturing. Here we talk about the use of AutoCAD in designing buildings, in designing um, automobiles. Okay, so again, it has made designing much easier. Okay, with these devices, we are able to almost to a hundred percent efficiency get the design that you so require. So here again, computer has found its use in construction, manufacturing, to make um, design of equipments uh, much easier. Then in transportation, all right, most of, um, like we talk about our passenger planes, these are computerized devices, okay, which the pilot does just a little. Most of the maneuverings are done um, by people who sit behind the computer desk. Okay, and there's also some trains that are also run with the use of computers. Then for defense, in executing wars, a lot of the arsenal that are used in executing wars on large scale are not manually run. These arsenals are normally um, controlled, they are computerized, they are controlled in-house by people who are sitting behind the computers, the use of drones, the use of missiles, and all of those are made, um, they are made possible by the use of computers. So it means that wars can be fought, uh, battles may be won, even without the loss of lives at, um, in, in large numbers, because most of the devices used can be controlled pinpointedly using the computers. Then in, for um, sound production, musicals, for videos, the computers has found its relevance. In, uh, sometimes music can be made, produced. Uh, most of the movies we watch, some of the effects, you see they are not real. They are done in-house using the computers. Sound, some of the sounds, music that is produced, they are not actually um, performed so-called by musicians. They are also done in-house by the use of computers. So with use of computers, you, see this, we can, you can see that a lot of things can be achieved. Okay, we have just looked at a few. But strictly speaking, the use of computers, as I earlier mentioned, cuts across every discipline. Now, if you as a person have not found the use of computers in your business or in whatever you are doing, perhaps because you have not been able to um, 
really search for knowledge and ways in which the computer can be relevant to that that you are doing. Now, other use of computers, the use of includes in supermarkets for religious, in, for um, transactions, recording, um, sales, as well as expenditures, in religious institutions, publishing, as well as agriculture. So these are just a few of the so many that we have. Again, remember that the use of computers cannot be overemphasized. So we hope that you will buy into this idea and uh, make it a part of your life. Trust me, when you do such, you observe that things, um, most of the transactions you have to do manually. Most of the recordings you have to do manually. If you can make more use of the computer, it becomes much more easier. So thank you for listening.